Welcome to Atomic Heart, another Let's Play. What can I say? It's a new day for another Let's Play. I've been waiting on this game. They said it was kind of Bioshock-like, and I was like, Bioshock was one of my childhood favorites. So it has got to live up to the hype. But welcome to another Let's Play. Like this video. What more can I say? I hope you enjoy this series. And here we go. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelomay complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Just look at this place. Ran by robots. Floats on the Icarus platform. A feat of modern science. This can't be America. This city in the clouds was... This is Russia. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here. Including the German SSR. Would you want to live here? Exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. You got a whole bunch of benders running around. <laughs> if you watch Futurama, then you know what I'm talking about. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? I'll take some. You know, if they can pour that soda for you, they can pour that Henny. Where the alcohol robots at? This is a soda robot. I need the alcohol robot. I need that Henny robot. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Hey, just look at that. If that bot can get stuck, yeah, I noticed. On a grand, bigger scale, the robots can just malfunction and start going crazy. Beautiful day. What's up with your Vovas box on tray? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hope they have robots to do everything else, but that man peddling that mini boat himself. Okay then. Get to work, you bums. Move it. Move it. Are the animals robots? Whoa, he did it. Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead. Alright, now we're about to get on foot. We're about to see what this town... Well, not town. This city is really like. No rest for the wicked. Reach the park. Are they getting rid of the green pass to pass, man? Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. But this time, 
Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Major Nachayev reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly-education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. your glove with scanner functionality using the neuropolymer as a conduit the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system especially your eyes polymer retina to activate the scanner just make a special gesture please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it the palm of your hand should be facing the object contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? All right, we got wall hacks to start the game. Demon, be gone. <laughs> for your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. Hello, welcome to your, your future. future. to the lobby of that high-rise company. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory. 
that will profoundly change the world as we know it. So glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. No, I'm not. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Our beloved Soviet He's been left Union with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, in not the I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. All-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826, I present to you the device of the future, the Neural Connector Thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will know... Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. All right, so we're about to get in the car and drive, right? That's what they're saying? You can drive in this game? For us to have all this technology, these cars look outdated. Hold on. The convertible. So wait, 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 wait. We just got in the car for a robot to pick us up and fly us. Why didn't they just make a flying car? Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, I just came from one of them. I get it. 
The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the South. We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyok. How about some music? That's up. Oh, up. Oh, can't have that. D not die. more like it. Now, now that it's silent, I bring to you a DJ playlist made by your boy. I see you've finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... Flying pigs. Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plan such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. 
We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Major, the Trophy is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now, what am I supposed to do about your it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the Oratory 8 of the Robinson facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit? That one robot was still trying to be loyal, even though everybody was going crazy. She still stayed loyal. You need them type of women in your life. <laughs> oh, man. It's getting crazy.
Hey, hey. This is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. <coughs> Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him. Bring him to Oh, hold on. The chickens are robots too? <laughs> what the? Bro, everything is robots. Session off out. Well, come on. Come here, little piggy. Bro, everything is robotic. I can't trust nothing. Everything got to go down to the ground. I can't trust nothing. Nah, it ain't sweet. Alright. It's over. Come on. <laughs> Ooh. So can I get a diamond axe? <laughs> can I get my diamond camo axe? <laughs> Man, I can't trust nothing. Everything is robotic. The chicken really attacked me though. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> See, look at that. The pig going crazy. You can't trust nothing. But basically, I gotta put everything down. That's what you're saying. Oh. Holy shit. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay. Look at that. Oh hell now, nah. get back here. I'm coming. You alive in there? I'm out here like Minecraft. I'm out here like Minecraft. <laughs> nah. I start something, I gotta finish it. Get back here. Get your booty back here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. Get back here. <laughs> I don't start stuff, but I do finish it. All right, I'm done playing around. I got half health, bro. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to heal with. You can't breathe. Where you at, brother? Oh, it's a robot. I can't trust. I can't trust it. Shit! Uh, get away from me! Uh, go fuck yourself! I told you I can't trust nothing. You can't trust nothing. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Grand, Grand, just put in some work. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, ma'am. No ma sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena, that's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. 
I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you oh, Grand Grand got the strap. She lied. She said I ain't giving you no weapons, but she got all the blickies. Take that. Eat shit and die. Uh, 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 shit. Uh, uh. Come to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Grand Grand is a OG. Holy shit. What a goddamn clusterfuck. Damn, they done got Grand Grand. Nah, all y'all gotta get down. I don't trust nothing out here. <laughs> we need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhauser. He was then arrested by the Argentum Union. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. I got a shoddy. Fading data. Okay, this is a safe area. Uh, and the machines rose from forewarned. Is forearmed. Enemies can perform powerful attacks that can knock P3 down if they hit. Yeah, 
May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, wait, wait. I ain't got... Uh, There's only one bullet. That's crazy. Attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a... Ooh. ...are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shh, I'm a Shingo. Why is... Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. Oh, man. What did I get myself into? This game kind of crazy. It wouldn't hurt to collect the resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. All right. I only got two shotgun bullets to my name. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently rebuild it. Okay, so you can be stealthy. Hold on. Okay, there's a robot out there. Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Got it. I'm going to be lock picking like an OG in a minute. Like I've been here before. There's got to be something valuable in here because you wouldn't have to lock pick. Oh, oh. So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Ooh wee. I put a shotgun back out. <laughs> Okay, did I check everything? Okay, I think I checked everything. I think we're ready to go. I knew I heard something. Come on, then. Come on, then. You want a battle? Ooh.
All right, I gotta save my ammo though. Oh, you can't go through there, but the robot came out of there. So how did he get in there? Oh, can't go in there. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 30... Something's wrong. Oh, shit! They literally made a robot for everything. Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Wow, we're fighting already. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Pull the shotty out. I, I, I saved some bullets just for it. I missed. Ooh. <laughs> okay. And I missed one bullet. He probably would have went down if I did that, right? Come on, then. Ooh. 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 Hold on. Get back. Get back. Come on, then. Show me something, good. Yeah. Ooh, I'm getting ahead. Ooh, get out of the way. Ooh. Ooh. Got him. Ooh. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with that freaky thing on the door. A lock? Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. I had to stop that. I, th I thought it was gonna blow up, bro. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Got it. Wow, that's a bomb. Oh my god. Works. <laughs> uh oh, I don't like this. Oh hell no. Nah. 
Manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on. I bet they do. What be at you? What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Hey. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? I don't mind. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove. I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. He's a freaky robot. Ooh, there's a lot of guns in this game. A lot of melee weapons, too. But you know I'm gonna explore this game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have all of these upgraded. Damn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Thank you. 
where are we supposed to go? Ooh, I got a new move. That's kind of crazy. Oh, he's up there. I'm like, I wonder where he can. <laughs> I'm like, I hear some music. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, what you want to do, son? I got the ammo up here. I ain't got time for you, cuz. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't even got to fight you. I'll put you down with two shots. Oh, we got to go this way. Duh. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you? Charles. Unfortunately not, but I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. Administrative office. Where is it at? Okay, we know where to go. It's showing us where to go. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. All right, we got to make sure we do not get caught by that thing. Oh, so why is how you do that? Oh, it just, I just saw it at, what the? I just saw it at the bottom. Do not want to get caught by that thing. There we go. All right, we got to find this key. Where is it at? All right, found some more shotgun ammo. There you go. It should be right there. You found the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Alright. I'm trying to look out for cameras. Uh, we gotta go that way. Hold on.
Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. I mean, I ain't mad at him, though. Who? This is what fear. This is what can fear to be happened with these robots. Oh, this wasn't the way to go. Gotta disable it again. And we gotta go back the way we came, right? Oh, we can drop through here. Oh, we back. Oh, we did it. Look at that improvisation. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah. Even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Is there any hints? Try to match the colors of the Yeah, lead. the power's on. Let's head back. There we go. I don't even know what I did, but I did it. I don't even know what I did, but I did it. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. Well, you heard him. You heard him. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Oh, we back here. Oh, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. All right, come on. Do I want to fight? But I want to save my ammo. I don't have that much ammo anyway. Chill out, good. Chill out, big boy. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Get back. You asked for it. Yeah. Yeah, big dog in town now. Come on, then, cuz just me and you. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, I'm glad I bought it. I'm glad I bought it. I like it. I'm not gonna lie. We got a safe room. That's what I've been waiting for. We're gonna end this episode right here. Well, 
Welcome to Atomic Heart, y'all. I'm not going to lie. The first hour of gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like this video. Like this video for episode two. And I'll catch you on the next one. Fading data. We out. They, they triple. He's got 40 now. Hey, why not? I'ma stop and pop. When I go to the bank, I need all my money in cash. I like my money in 20s. Ain't nothing funny. Cause when I go to the bank, I need that, I need that cash. We'll get it back. We lost that. We lost against the Grizzlies, but we'll get it back. There we go. And we got team two. Well, I'm calling plays now. It's time to open the floodgates for these boys. It's time to open up the floodgates. When it rains, it pours. Tonight, I'm gonna be sore because my back hurts. If I'm gonna be sore when it rains, it pours. <laughs> <laughs>